I'm Dr. Stacy Treckless, and I'm here with my friend Dr. Aaron Warren, who's a professor of physics here at Purdue North Central. And we're here today to show off a little bit about what Dr. Warren has found that works really well for his physics students. Um, Dr. Warren, this is your physics uh, 152. And you do the same kind of module format for a lot of your courses? Yeah, for online courses in particular. Okay, and this class is online only, hybrid? Well, the lecture was purely online. There was a okay. laboratory component that they came in as well for. Okay, so, so you got a little touch time with them. A little bit. Yeah, and that means you were able to get a little bit of feedback from them exactly. throughout this semester. That's great. Um, show us a little bit about your course. Sure. So I'm going to swap over here to our feed so we can see it better. So we do weekly modules for the organization on Blackboard here. Um, I use an Echo Livescribe pen, uh, which mm -hmm. has a two gigabyte storage. I was using that primarily for the lecture delivery mm -hmm. um, to engage the students. It, it's nice because it's an interactive PDF. Um, so here I have the chapter one lecture, for example. Um, what I would do is use the pen to record the lecture and simply upload it as plug and play. Okay. Very simple, no software requirements. How cool is that? Once I upload it into the Blackboard, the students would see this PDF document. And if you just click on it, it looks like a static document. You can see my handwritten mm -hmm. notes here. If I go to this player page, which I already have opened on this other tab, what you can do is then drag the LiveScribe PDF, mm -hmm. so it's a special PDF format, into the player box. And now it's an interactive PDF. I can play and you would hear the notes or the lecture as the notes are being written on the page. Now do you plan out your lecture a bit in advance before you start recording it? Yeah, so I've taught 152 before, mm -hmm. so I had my old notes and essentially I would work from that similar to what I would do in a real lecture and just go through on the page, or the special notebook mm -hmm. paper and, and talk through the lecture. and very similar to a real in-class experience. Right. So when you, if you have to like stop and pause. Yeah, that's does nice. Does it let you do that? Yeah, you, you can get, <laughs> <laughs> if you're like, oh man, what to do next? So there's a little pause button on the bottom okay. of each page in the notebook paper. Um, and yeah, if you ever need to uh, like redo a page, for example, say the first two pages were great and the third page, maybe you want to change something about it. You can keep those first two pages when you upload the PDF. Um, you can cut out that third page and replace it with a subsequent redo of the third page. Oh, okay. Uh, so it does it by pages instead of by like time codes or something exactly, like that. Exactly. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Well, that's nice. Yeah. Is the editing software pretty easy to use? Oh, very simple. Um, so it comes with the pen. It's pretty much a plug and play, you in, uh, plug the device into the USB mm -hmm. and it'll automatically bring up the software package. Um, you can just record the audio, a solo off the pen if you want, mm -hmm. or you can do the interactive PDFs and okay. you break it up. You see each individual page on a screen and you just drag and drop which ones you want bundled together into a single document. Cool. Spits it out, upload it, and you're good to go. That's so, cool. Yeah. So. It other than just the recording of it, which you've got one here that's about 45 minutes mm -hmm. long or so. After that, what, about another five, ten minutes to set it all up and upload it? And yeah, done? pretty much. Yeah, That's awesome. I did try uh, converting because I wasn't sure, this is my first time using it, how the accessibility for the students would mm -hmm. be with the LiveScribe player. Um, so I had made MP4s as well. You can see below Lecture 1 MP4 format. Mm -hmm. Um, so essentially what I just use Camtasia to convert the PDF into okay. the MP4 format. Mm -hmm. um, which takes a while because you got to play through the lecture. Mm -hmm. And the students at the end of the day when I talked to them they said really they just preferred the LiveScribe PDF. It was much more interactive to them because they could jump specifically to the notes yes. instead of on the timeline for a video player. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I ended up just cutting that out and it improved my workload efficiency that much more. I can uh, imagine. Oh, yeah. Now, did you ask them or did you happen to uh, figure out like how, uh, how much this might have been helping them? Did you see scoring go up on your tests or anything like that? It was a very small sample size, okay. so it's hard to get st <laughs> I know. reliable statistics. I think we had a half dozen students in there. Oh, so. that's a small class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were, there was no drop-off, certainly. That's um, good. And if anything, I would say a few of them definitely benefit from mm -hmm. it. Um, it gave them greater accessibility than what they would have normally had. And I, I had a few students say, you know, I would have not been able to take this class if it wasn't the online format. 
as it was, and yeah. this lecture delivery they were very happy with. So yeah. taken together, I was I was pleased with that. That's good. And they seem to be. That's awesome. So you're now doing this more in all your classes? Online courses mm -hmm. and hybrid courses. Mm -hmm. Yep. That so, is very cool. Um, we do it with some of the astronomy classes as well. Um, okay. The hybrid astronomy 263. Sure. So, yep. Well, anytime, I think, if you're drawing figures, it doesn't even have to be a math or physics or another science type class, anytime for drawing timelines and history or something like that, yeah. if you're the type of person who does well while you're drawing while lecturing, and many of us do that, it, uh, that kind of a system might work even better because yes. you can do it kind of, you don't have to worry about a camera. Right. You don't have to worry about being in a certain place. You can just kind of pick up the pen, pick up right. the notebook, and just go. It's very nice in terms of the delivery of the page, just like the board. You do lose the gesticulation. Sometimes there's yeah. extra bandwidth in the communication. So there might be points where you want to balance a little bit, depending on the discipline or, mm -hmm. or what your material you're trying to communicate. Um, but by and large, you know, this serves our purpose in the physics class and some of the astronomy lectures as well for imagine. that very reason. Yeah. So. Do you think it's better than like a PowerPoint or something like that? I think so, yeah. yeah. Uh, it, it's more natural to the students. I think it also improves their retention of the, uh, as well as the procedure. Um, a PowerPoint, you can animate things to have certain yeah. things come in procedurally. You can even draw on a PowerPoint, exactly. I suppose, if you want to, sure. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I, I think this is more what the students are used to, and the fact that it's positioned on a page that also has some cueing, like mm -hmm. it improves their attention a little bit, mm -hmm. as opposed to broken up by all these different slides and just, you know, item after item located on those slides. Yeah. So I, I think there's benefits to it. There's a balance mm -hmm. and a point where I would use PowerPoint still, especially if it's image heavy, like picture based, as we do in the astronomy sometimes. Yeah. Um, but if it's focused on a, a strategy of, problem solving, for example, mm -hmm. or you're trying to give an exposition about some topic and you really want to elaborate on it, text and verbal, mm -hmm. this is where the, the strength of the smart pen comes in handy. Oh, definitely. And you can't really, I mean, it's stuck really with your your writing, right? Mm -hmm. You don't you don't bring in pictures and things like that unless you take it into a, an editor. Correct, yes. Okay. Yeah. So you always could do that if you wanted to throw in a few like PowerPoint slides. Mm -hmm. So you could actually pause the LiveScribe PDF at a certain point on your video editor, for example, mm -hmm. bring that in. That'd be making it into an MP4 at that point. Yeah. It is more labor intensive. You could do that, though. Yeah. That's pretty cool. At least you've got options, I think. And the fact that it's so inexpensive, yeah. it really brings you know, brings that home to a lot of people that otherwise you could do a lot of the same things with a, a document camera, sure. for example, one of those big things with the boom on it, <laughs> but you have to be somewhere where a document camera is and exactly. we don't have many of those running around that you can just jump in and start yeah. messing with it anytime you want to. It's very portable, very easy mm -hmm. to use. Mm -hmm. It doesn't get better than that. Exactly. So. All you need is a decent voice and decent handwriting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I found myself being more self-conscious. It does look, I should say as well, you can zoom in on the pages. Oh, good. Okay. Um, for example, uh, here the, this is uh, limiting me for some reason. But you're able to zoom in on the actual document and it gets mm -hmm. smoother. So. It, it can if look a little ragged the, if you're zoomed out. Right. If you have, because it's got the in-browser version and it's got a separate download an software, app, yes. right? An app. Yeah. So maybe the app probably has a couple more features. Yeah, and it is more streamlined. So mm -hmm. here I had to download the PDF and then throw it into the web browser box to, okay. to activate it. Yeah. Um, on the app, though, you simply activate the, the PDF and you're good to go. Okay, so. yeah, so they would have a few more features. You didn't have any students that had any trouble figuring no. any of that out? No, never. Yeah. They, they, were, they took to it like fish and water. So. They usually do. Sometimes yeah. we don't give them enough credits. <laughs> 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 I've noticed that they tend to do pretty well with that kind of stuff, but it's just, I mean, I think it's great. Yeah, I mean, to help them get acclimated, I did have an introductory video mm -hmm. um, in the first week module, the course introduction. Let's swap back. Let's swap back. So I had a course introduction video, which I had done with Camtasia. Mm -hmm. um, and during that, I showed the upload process of how I make these oh, and then okay. how they can pull them down. And then oh, that them. was cool. So That's I, helpful. Yeah, and it only took, you know, five minutes of video mm -hmm. time to do that part. And, right. Yeah. It was very simple. Very Gives them a nice little overview. These are what these are, and this is what you can do with them. And exactly. Yeah, that's always helpful. 
it's one thing to describe in words, but it's no, another for them to see it on screen. Yeah. Me doing it is sort of the best sort of modeling that mm -hmm. they can get. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Exactly. And what you see sometimes from students when you have a video like this is they're not necessarily going to just sit there and watch with rapt attention, <laughs> you know, but Which they may like. <laughs> listen and have that going in one screen right. and then have some homework or some other thing they're working on in another screen. Exactly. And you've given them now a few different places that they can hear the same information exactly. and eventually it sinks in. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple avenues and some way, somehow it'll get there. Exactly. Exactly. Redundancy is a good thing. I <laughs> always teach that to people and they laugh at me sometimes, but no, really. The more times you say it, the more times yeah. somebody will pick it up. Was it seven times usually is the minimum? Or? Roughly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's about right. <laughs> I think that's about right. Was there anything else you'd like to show us about your course or um, you know, the cool things you're doing? This is no. a really nice course. Yeah, I was, I was really pleased with how the pen performed as far as integrating everything together. Um, the only other aspect I had was the online homework platform that was mm -hmm. easily linked through Blackboard and mm -hmm. the students had no with issues your with your textbook, right? Correct, yeah. 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 And yeah, it ran very smoothly. I was very happy with that. That's Especially awesome. Of course, you are a graduate of the Technology Mentorship Program. Right. This was the course that you showed for, uh, that you used for the Tech Mentorship Program. So that helped you? Yes. You know, I have to give a shout out to Sarah together. White. You know, she did a fantastic job mentoring me and her help was very Sarah's much appreciated. She's one of our best mentors. Yeah, she is. <laughs> 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 to work with me, I'll definitely. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she was very helpful to it because she gave me a, a nice view of her her courses and she has mm -hmm. extensive experience with online courses. Yes, she does. A lot of good tips along the way. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. but a very helpful program. Good. Well, I'm glad. And this this really came out great. Now you've almost got a template that you can use for exactly. other courses. Right. You can just fill in the blanks with other materials. Exactly. I know I do that with yep. my courses. They all kind of look the same. <laughs> Don't uh, reinvent the wheel. Exactly. You know? <laughs> exactly. Um, well, can you think of anything else you'd like to share with us before we sign off? I think that's it. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time and for showing us this great device and all the stuff you're doing. That's a pleasure. And hopefully we'll see more from you. Thank you for all the support. We hey, appreciate it. Well, we appreciate your time and all your energy for your students. Yeah.